Kobna and I met through a mutual friend. Shout out to Joan Ketia. Actually, it was Joe who introduced us. Joe and Ketia, but he, she didn't introduce us as boy, like, I have a girl, B, I think you should meet. Maybe you do would gel together. No. She said that, you know, I have this friend who likes to read, and I think you also write and you like to read, so I think the two of you can gel. So she did that. And I remember going to her office with an autograph copy of my book. I have always been passionate about books, anything that has to do with reading. And everyone in my circle knew that. So Kwabna also writes books. And then Joe decided to introduce us on Facebook, first of all. So I sent him a friend request. Or I think he sent me a friend request. I can't remember. So from there, we met in person when he came to my office with copies of his books that he had dedicated to me. We became friends, very good friends. We were traveling together. We were having events together. He came on board my NGO as a programs director. One day, I remember, after Kinky Fest, we went for Indies reading. And at Kinky Fest, she told me that, you know what, I'll be coming for the Indies reading. Somehow, when I was seated there about to read, there were lots of people over there, but there was only one person I was waiting for. It was her. And I was checking the time. It was my turn. She was not here. So I started reading. But just when I lifted my head, I saw her in front with her phone recording. That day, I knew in my heart that this was the one. He became my best friend. He was my go-to person for everything and anything you can think about. He knew about all the guys in my life. I knew about all the girls in his life. Because I do film theater, I do books, I do some NGO stuff, I was still telling God that, look, either I get somebody who does all this or somebody who has no idea at all. So I went to God. Hey, if I only does books, so I ah, God. She doesn't do film, she doesn't do theater. So how can this work? Because I don't want somebody that will only do books. And if I have to go and do film or theater, she'll be like complaining or she'll be saying I'm wasting time or come home or anything of that sort. But one day I was there and then somehow God was bringing to memory all the moment that she has been there when I was filming. There was one time she came to sit on set. She even slept on set whilst we were filming. Like that moment came to me. And I remember one time, Joffo Way Incorporated invited me to come and talk to them about starting a theater ministry. And I went with her. And she was the one who was even explaining or giving answers to some of the questions. So all my reasons, Onye Theater, it doesn't do film, everything, it was there. And so all my fears were calm and I knew that she was the one. I think love happened. For a long time, I personally had been praying to God that whoever will be my spouse has to be my friend because I believe so much in friendship. So one night in the midst of the friendship that was in 2020, Kwabna popped the question and yours truly said yes. And that's when we started dating. So we dated for a year, and then, then again, he popped the question, a whole marriage proposal since, you know how it goes, that's the ring here. And yours truly said yes again, because why not? I think through it all, one of the things that I like about our journey when we were dating was very conscious of the fact that um, we wanted people to teach us this journey, so we took ourselves to counseling like we met people different people to talk to us about marriage and then we got married and here we are so we got married in 2021 we'll be celebrating our second anniversary very soon 25th september <laughs> why did you choose me no, i chose you because mm, it's going to be interesting and <laughs> um, one I, I would like to say that one is your person you know when you enter a room, you carry presence like when you, everybody knows that you're in the room and the other thing is that you carry warmth and then you draw people close to you and like you care for people a lot so i knew that hey i'm covered i'm sorted i mean if there's something that i have to take care of that i can't take off i know you can take care of it oh my god and that, i think the first time i heard you pray i'm like hey this is the woman going to be in my house oh my god <laughs> 
I'm covered. Also because, I mean, what we're dating, not that I was monitoring, but the way you supported the work I do, doing film, doing theater, writing books, I give my books to you to read. I mean, you give feedback, and sometimes you have to write the questions for the book. So I knew that, Charlie, I'm covered, I'm sorted. Hmm. Would you want me to answer the same yeah, question? As well. I think it's a lot of factors, just okay. as you mentioned. It's how well we work together. It's also the friendship, who you are. You're such a... I don't want to sound so like cliche, like how most people do when they write something, they come and write deep. Right? All I want to say is you're so deep. <laughs> it's like God has given me a well and every time I dig from the well, I get this, I get that. Oh, wow. It's like... So I'm a well of living water. Yes, baby. <laughs> yes. I have to go now. Okay. Mm. At what point did you realize that you wanted to marry me? So you know, and I don't think I've hidden it from anybody who knows me, that I talked to God about who I wanted to marry. And I told him that the relationship that I would enter has to lead to marriage so in considering who I would say yes to mm -hmm. I already had marriage in mind so it wasn't I had it wasn't something I had to choose by saying yes to you when you asked me out like let's date that was me literally saying yes I want to marry you because I would have said no if I didn't see us here okay that's interesting the, yeah so you want me please. to answer i've answered this question over and over again you know at in this reading when you said you were gonna come and i was sitting there about to read i looked around you were not there i started reading i lifted my head and there you were videoing mm. at that moment i knew you know because many people make my heart beat but you calm it like you, like you, I, like I felt some calmness, and I knew that. It's honey. okay. You're making me so much. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. I mean, I <laughs> Just a, let's go. Like. What do you love about us? Us. Well, what one of the things that um, I like so much about us is books and reading, and I don't think that I've brought something on the table that you haven't asked questions. Like when I bring something to the table, even if I say, like God taught me that God wanted me to do this, you're like, okay, how do we do this? How do we get confirmation? What are the things that are on board so that we are able to do this? And having fun playing together, praying together and traveling. I remember a moment in Kenya, like, the yeah, Lord it was really beautiful. <laughs> and then that was the, the point where Charlie uh, that yeah. you, it's okay. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to answer yes, it? Yes, you have to answer. I think it's two things. One, no, three. One is the the kind of home we have and how grace yeah happens. grace happens here. Yeah. We how we try to embody that in our home. So our home is open to everyone. All our friends know that. When you come in, you find peace, you find love, you find covering. The second thing is our friendship. Yeah. I love how we can stay up in the nights, just chatting and laughing and the little games we play. I think the third, the third thing is, as you said, loving each other to the point of supporting yeah. each other's dream. Because, heck, my masters, you saw me through it. Yeah. And I, I did a master's, they gave me the degree. <laughs> they wrote their name on the certificate. We did very much together. Yeah, so we have very trying sure. moments, yes. right? So that's what I love about us. Okay. Let's go. One thing I do around the house that annoys you. Ha! Ah, hey. Really? Which one is it? Oh, yes. Yes. So let's see this. Let me paint a picture. I, I, <laughs> I struggle to sleep most of the time. But it's like, it's the, it's the ease with which he sleeps. I'm like, God, why can't that be me? See. It's just it's annoying because you, 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 like, you want to sleep, but sleep is not coming. But he just has to be there, put on something, and then just close his eyes. He's in the heavens. And I'm there now looking at the sky. 
So most of the times, you know what I do? That That's why I love waking you up whilst you're sleeping. See, yeah. <laughs> the Bible says that Don't he who God back. loves, he grants sleep. Oh, wow! <laughs> it's a gift from God, though. It's a gift from God. Well noted. I'll take it up with God. One thing that you do around the house, you want me to answer this? Yeah, because I think I already know the answer to but... What will it be? Oh, no. <laughs> No, really. Say it. Why does it have to be one? I have like four. Say it. Four, five. Say it. No, no, I'll start from the... I'll start from the... The, the, the bathroom. <laughs> so you have hot water. <laughs> boiling water. Oh, oh my God. I know you say that. Let's bath. When I... When the thing I put... I'm practically burning. No, I guys. I just... <laughs> You can just send me a in public. <laughs> Please let's stick to no. one. Who is picking this? I'm the one picking this. Ah. But that hot water in there, it's not cool. <laughs> what do you think is the most challenging moment in our marriage? Challenging moment in our marriage. <sighs> I think for me it will be. A prayer we have said to God. That is not every time that we find answers to. Um, one of them, you know, one of the prayers we prayed was that before God, um, when God gives you an idea, God should confirm it. Even before I come to tell you that I have this idea, you should know. Like when I get it, ah, God also told me the same thing. And I remember this, God answered this prayer once. Yeah. When we were in church during fundraising. Yeah. Yeah. When from home, we had decided that you're going to give this amount. And I was up there in the ICC room and you were down there. And all of a sudden, like during the service and everything, I had an idea that we should give a certain amount. And just when I, like, I think I tested or I said something, and you mentioned the same amount and I knew that God was speaking to both of us. But there have been moments where I've heard, like, I want to do this, but you haven't. And you're not sure, like, and there are moments where you also want to do something. So I think for me, it will be, because we want to do what God wants us to do, the challenge will be like, Charlie, what is God telling you concerning this? Because yeah. me, I have green light, I want us to push. And you're like, okay, let's wait, let's. Sometimes it can be a bit frustrating when you're waiting to, to, for the person to come around. I know sometimes I just, I'm gone, I'll go and do it anyway. We've had our fair share of arguments, disagreements, and all that, but to qualify one as the most challenging i think I what think, you just yeah. said sum everything up there is a, we move through them who is next i'm next you are next okay if you could change one thing in our relationship what would they be mm. Mm. what would i change oh really be? what would i change i don't know i'm asking you to be sincere, nothing comes to mind. I'm being very sincere, but I know if I think about it for a longer period of time, like that's on the spot. Yeah. So can the you answer? Then I would answer. If you could change one thing in our relationship, what would it be? So I can think be? about it. No, no. For me, mm. you know, one one time when we we're discussing about the things we really want to do, but mm -hmm. sometimes you don't have the means, and sometimes. Um, it's frustrating when you have people call and say, Oh, Charlie, can you give me this thing? This, and like, God, I wish I had this to just give this person so that for me, it, I, I wish we could um, change the rate at which we are able to help. Exactly. Like, we are able to build a certain capacity spiritually and financially, in fact to be able to do the things we want to do, help people, and maybe I want to stick with spiritual. Because mm. I feel that, you know, God leads and God guides. Yeah. And so I feel that maybe like to change, to, to hear God more, like to, to feel it more, to, so that I know my next move and my next steps. <laughs> sometimes, Charlotte. I get you. Bas, basica, basica. Yeah. One thing I'll change is for us to spend more and more time together. Because yeah. I've always said, my job, you know, takes me away. And then yours can take you, like, you can, it can 
it can occupy you <laughs> singular focus i always say i just wish you would i would be the 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 occupier if that is even a word of your laser focus every blessed day what one thing do you wish i could do more often Spend more time with me. Spend more time. Spend, spend more, more time, time with spend me. Spend more time. More Ludu moments. Yeah. More midnight Ludu. 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 More five one and counting. What about you? What's your answer? What one thing do I wish you could you could do more often? Mm. Um. Look at you, Lily. Oh, baby, more often. Eh, yeah, babe. <laughs> babe. No, 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 I'm saying. Okay, one thing I, I, I wish we'd do more often. It's mm. also about the, 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 the moments we create. Yeah. But it's not, it's not like spending time, spending time together, but creating. I told you the last time that one of the things I want us to do is to do things together let's say you and i are going to learn something mm. so let's say you and i are going to learn how to play tennis you and i are going to learn how to probably swim you and i are going to learn how to draw or paint like something that we do together that becomes our thing yeah and i wish you could do it often like similar to the cooking idea we had in the beginning yes do you remember yes yeah you go okay how have i contributed positively to our marriage how <laughs> just name one one no. that's difficult to ask an author to do to name one it's difficult to do and the kind of person <laughs> you have been in my space um i think that you made me a better man in terms of um creating a space where I can lead spiritually, physically, like I can take, I can lead. Because one of the things you do often, come now, what do you think? Come now, how do you do this? Come now, what do you think? Come now, how do you do this? Like, come now, and for a moment, at a point, I'm like, why are you asking me? Do it on your own. But my focus had to shift, I'm like, no, this is, this is you, like, you are supposed to lead. This is leadership. And so you have given me the opportunity to lead. And for me to realize is I need to go to God more to do this right. Because you are there to support. It's like somebody is saying that, go, I'll, I'll follow. I don't think a lot of people have that. And I really appreciate it. Hmm. I think first of all, you've been... It's funny that you said it for me, but you've been a great support system. I, trust me, I would have deferred my masters everybody knows yeah all those close to me knows but it was you it was you making sure i submit my assignments on time it was you proofreading my work it class. was you Record. attending classes for me and recording it because those work classes. took me away yeah. and online i couldn't classes. find a stable net work it was you doing all of that it's you even still pushing me to do my phd it's yeah. you I'll pay. You will. Doesn't it sound nice? Doctor, Mrs. Oh, Hold it. It's okay. It sounds nice. So, I'll pay. I think... Like, I want them to know that I'll pay. <laughs> Come on, why are you doing this to me? I'm serious. <laughs> like, okay. in essence, it's you being that for me. The, like, the foundation. I can... I can be... I can rest my mind and know that Kwabna is there. My Kwabna is there. And that's why I always say you're mine. Because, yes. And it's also you being a safe space for me. So almost everybody who knows me knows that I'm a bit outgoing, a bit, a bit loud, a bit. And but what they don't see behind the scenes are the insecurities, the nervousness when going out in public to do something, how shy I can be, how I overthink. But you have a way of centering it, of holding it and say, okay, you've got this. And sometimes you leave me voice notes. Like, I'm not exaggerating, but if I'm traveling, 
I need to play the voice notes that he leaves for me to listen to on the plane because he knows ah, I'm scared of flying. Ah, and so I, I, I just put it on repeat. I remember that Kenyan trip. <laughs> Every time I'm in transit, I have to play it. Even when I was going to SA. Yeah. It, 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 it's just been that. You have been that. And last but not the least is how you father SDM. I I can leave home and close my mind. I I go to work and my colleagues ask, so who is at home with Sam? And I said his father is working remotely from home. So and they're like, you you and you're okay? Like you're not worried? I said, no, he's his father. It, it's it's that confidence that you allow me to have in your role as a father. And yeah. That I think it. the last one. Have you ever thought about my death and what you would do if I died today? I think we just spoke about this. Was it a month ago? Yeah. A month or some weeks ago, we literally spoke about this. When um, we were talking about the wishes of someone very close to us. And you said, um, this is how you wanted yeah, I get it. I to be honored when like this is this are your wishes when it comes to your death so I have thought about it I have thought about what I do I've thought about how I cry I've thought about how to blame God literally and that's me being honest I've thought about how I'm going to be knocking on God's door with anger with fear with why who sent you <laughs> <laughs> why now and all of that so i have thought about it and, yeah and what will you do if i die today um i i don't know what i'll do mm -hmm. but i have a feeling it will be a bit similar to how i behaved when my mom passed on i think that is a pattern that i need to work on i tend to be okay in the moment and sing praises then after the door the coffin is lowered i tend to go crazy and it lasts for i've been mourning my mom for almost eight years now yeah going to nine and it's a bit it's something i didn't get to grieve well during the time that she died so i logged it in and only started letting it go on her anniversary and I'm still grieving now. So I don't know what I'll do. But I just know mm. that I might pretend I'm okay when I'm not. Mm. You know, for the past weeks or so, I've been reading um, Philippians' book. The Why. So, yeah, The Why. So I've read Disappointment with God. Where is God when it hurts? And then I'm reading the question why. Why he never goes away? And I was reading about an incident in the US where somebody walked to a school and shot about 20 or 26 kids mm. and when I was reading it I was feeling the pain of the parents like you try in church I had to stop close the book and look away because if I had not done that I would have cried like something that is all distant I would yeah have me. and in that moment it thought okay to me what if you get home with your wife or your wife doesn't come home today mm. or she doesn't work what will you do I'm like and that's when the Bible verse they say, whatever thing that is true, noble, <laughs> um, pure, and uh, meditate to I'm like, I buy, no, 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 I don't want to think about it. No, this was the devil. But I know death is inevitable. Yeah. It happens. It's one of the certainties of life. I have thought about it, and sincerely, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I've lost quite a number of people in my life. And sometimes in the moment, I'm like, we give glory to God. But I remember one time, like when me, it's not even when the coffin is being low, when you see the person being laid in state, yeah. it hits you. It's just that your tears will be coming out like, God, I don't know what to do. Mm. I wouldn't know what to do. And it, it, it had to take, it would take God and probably all the angels in heaven to want to carry me through a moment of situation. That I wouldn't want, I, I want us to. Like the, I don't want to answer this question again. <laughs> we to grow together, like be there when SDM is going. When he's married and he has yes, kids. Yes, like grow together because 
the truth is that I lost both of my parents. Yeah. Your mom is not alive. And so I, I, I'm hoping that we go to a point where our, our children, or we'll get to see our grandchildren. Yeah. You get the point. So basically, that is it. But uh, let's go do, uh, then we all go. Then. Yes. Hey, yes. No, I'm, I was just <laughs> going to say that. <laughs> I was just going to say that unless he but I am hopeful that he lets us grow to the point where we fix each other each other's teeth. You know that when you're watching those movies but and also the, the kind people. of death where you see it coming. Yeah. And it's comfortable. Like you see like yeah, you know you being and, called and, and you appreciate like this the person is going like, okay God, thank you. For yeah. The moment spent on this person. Yeah. And, and and all that so yeah. May he do it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs>